Uh, Jason here, just want to introduce you guys to how to relink broken files uh, if you guys have this issue with um, sort of breaking links between your Illustrator or Photoshop files um, when you bring them inside of After Effects. This can also happen when you uh, break the link between video footage um, and between uh, images and things like that. So it's a very useful skill to know. All right, so I've got my basic ball and tail. You guys will be familiar with this by now, uh, each on their own separate layer. Um, I've saved it. All right, I've made a uh, my own sort of folder on my desktop called linking test. I can save it into that. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll jump over into After Effects and I can hit uh, file, import file, and just navigate over to where I would find that file. The first thing I want to do when importing files is to always remember to set it to composition retain layer sizes. All right, um, that if you bring in this footage, it's not going to be editable. Okay, so composition retain layer sizes. We don't tick any of that. We simply say okay. Cool. Uh, we then have our composition. If I double click on that, we've got our two layers in here. All right, uh, and we have our layers, which we're not going to do much with until we actually break those particular links. All right, so the cool thing between After Effects and Illustrator is that they are linked as long as I overwrite my saves. Okay, so if I decide that I don't want my ball to be white, uh, what I can do is I can just uh, change the color of that. Let's just make it like a bright red. Uh, and then my tail, I can just make, um, let's just do like an RNG sort of horrible color like that. I'll say okay to that and we will hit Command or Control S just to overwrite that save. Now, because After Effects is referencing the save file, it will update. All right. If I jump back into Illustrator and I decided that I wanted to uh, use my pen tool to just um, sort of change the, the shape of this slightly. So if I wanted to give it more of like a, the illusion it got dropped on its head when it was young. Um, if I overwrite that save, that will update. All right. It'll update as long as I don't change the name of the layers. Okay, so what happens is when we change the name of these layers, we are breaking the link that After Effects has um, to these particular image files. All right, so if I were to change this to um, head, and I could call this, um, perhaps this was its hair rather. All right, if I overwrite that save, what happens is After Effects can no longer find the, uh, the layer that was called tail and the layer that was called ball because I've changed the labeling system. All right, and then you get these horrible, scary images here. So if you ever get these, all right, it just means that you've got some missing footage. And all we have to do to fix that, as long as you have the work files with you, uh, if you've simply like relabeled it or you've put it into a new folder, you have to relink it. What we can do is we'll select one of these, all right, right click, we'll find the reveal option and we want to reveal it in the source project, right? We want to reveal layer source it within the project. That'll take us to where it is over here. Okay, we could have found it ourselves, but you can imagine that if there were hundreds of layers, you don't want to go scrubbing through them all one by one. All right, um, so I'll right click on that and I will say replace footage with a file. Then all I need to do is re-navigate over to the original file. I don't have to worry about doing anything here. I just say open you'll see that it has one additional missing item has been found. Boom, it's now fixed both of them, all right? So essentially, I told it to find this layer, but in the process of finding this layer, it also found this layer, okay? So if I had 300 um, layers missing, I only have to find the one, and it will relink all the rest, okay? Now, this would be a problem as well. Let's just quickly do a save here. Um, if I were to change the label of the folder, all right, so I'll just call this test. I'll save it. Let's quit After Effects. Um, and then we can quit Illustrator as well. All right. So if I change this folder name to simply test, all right, jump in there. I've still got the same files. All right. And if I open this, we can sit in um, awkward silence while After Effects decides to do its thing. Um, but you'll notice then that it's broken as well. And the reason why I made a folder in the first place is you can imagine that I don't want to accidentally leave my footage behind. Um, huh. 
that's completely proven me wrong. Uh, it would be usually be the case, or it used to be the case rather, that by changing the labeling system, this would break, but it would seem that because they're in the same folder, that's not an issue. Okay, um, so let me just show you a technique as well that is slightly more maybe above our current standard, but it's going to help you guys if you're working on the school computers and uh, you need to make sure that you have all your files. All right, so let's say that you're working with uh, impromptu images that you found online, or you're working with um, your Illustrator files, but like so many other people have left all their crap on the computers, it's very difficult for you to find it and make sure that you've got everything uh, that you were sort of linking into After Effects. Right? You don't want to have to accidentally sort of, you don't want to accidentally lose one of those files and then you get home and you can't continue with your animation. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to collect your files. And that can be found under File. You want to find Dependencies, it's towards the bottom. And the very first option is Collect Files. Right, so File, Dependencies, Collect Files. When I select that, it's going to tell you that you need to save it first, which it will do. Then uh, when this pops up, you can simply just say Collect. And it's going to ask you uh, where to collect this file to. All right, so I'll tell it to go to the desktop. It'll automatically label it uh, sort of like X folder. All right, so we can maybe just relabel this to um, tutorial folder just so we don't get confused. And I'll say save. All right, it'll sort of like correlate all of the information and then it will reopen the file for you, sourcing it from its new folder. All right, so here are our two folders, test folder and the tutorial folder. You'll see inside the tutorial folder, it has a report, right? If you open that, it's basically just gonna tell you um, like what happened, and it might also tell you if there are any errors. These would, that would be sort of listed here. All right, this is the actual work file. And then inside of footage, we will then have um, all of our Illustrator files, all of our video footages, um, all of our sort of pictures, Photoshop layers, everything will uh, sort of be found in there. So it's just a way to guarantee that any assets you have inside of After Effects, uh, you will then be taking home with you when you when you finish that. All right. So I hope that was useful. I know it was uh, super simple, but um, hopefully, uh, if you ever need to sort of review back to this, you don't mind listening to my droning voice. Um, and I'll hit you guys with some more tutorials soon. Bye.